Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR. And anytime you're gonna make a sculpture in Sculptor VR, you're gonna start a new project, start a new sculptor. So today we're gonna look at the different ways you start a new sculptor in Sculptor VR and the ways you can control what you start with. And obviously the easiest way to start is with just an empty box. I'm gonna shrink, I'm gonna change the lighting for a moment so that we can see this box a little more clearly. Here is the empty box a standard empty box. And anything you create in that box takes place in that box and only in that box. That you can change your size and your scale, that type of thing. Let's get that behind me so I can make it really big or make it really small, however you want to work. Empty. Now to create a new empty box, maybe I've played with this one and I don't want to play with it anymore. On your main palette controller, the second icon, we'll change the lighting so you can see my icon again. Where's my lighting? There it is. Change lighting to make it easier to see. So here I've got my sculpture, here I've got my controller. The second item, the folder item, is settings. And settings is where we're going to go to start a whole new one. It's got the usual save and load. Let's get a little closer you can, so you can see this. When you choose the folder icon, it'll bring up save your work or load an existing sketch, but also new is where we're going to go to create a whole new picture. New empty does indeed start a whole new empty box. I'm now inside. Again, it's easier to see with the lighting. Let's set the lighting. Here is the boundaries of my empty box. When you're the one wearing the headset, it's a little more clear where you can see these dotted lines as the boundaries. Empty, folder, new, empty, you're good to go. But sometimes empty isn't what you want. Maybe you're doing a scene. It can actually create landscapes for you to use automatically. So you'll notice when I choose folder new, we have this option called procedural. Procedural means not random, but create a new landscape based on some basic math. And depending on the number you give the math, it'll change the landscape. So you're not using the same landscape over and over and over. A procedural landscape. Here's how it works. I'm going to create a new one, and we're just going to start with some nice green rolling hills as a landscape. So I'm going to choose the folder, new, procedural. These last six are the different types of landscape you can have it create for you. These first three are ways to modify, and we'll talk about those in a moment. I'm gonna choose that rolling landscape that I was talking about. And it's gonna automatically create here behind me this lovely green rolling hills as a landscape. Shrink it down a little so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is the landscape it created. This is it at very small size, but I can expand it bigger and bigger and bigger so that we're actually standing on one of those hills. And here in VR, let's get that hill a little better angled, standing on a hilltop, I can see all these other rolling hills around me. Now I can go in here and I can start putting in trees and that kind of thing. Let's get a nice dark green. Whoops. Nice dark green. And start putting in trees. So we can see at the different sizes, it's a convincing little forest in this rolling hills landscape. Now, not only can it do rolling hills, but I've also got the option here, say a new procedural desert. 
Instead of green rolling hills, we now go into yellows and browns, and you can see it's a much more twisted, cavernous, canyon-like landscape. And again, we can go to any size so that we can be in this landscape, use our hang gliders, that type of thing. But all of our normal sculpting tools work. So I can go in and carve out a path You can see how I'm using the carving tool to actually carve out a section of this. And then I'm going to go in with some water. Color blue. Let's get a nice pale blue. Watery. Type of thing going here. So you can see it'll give us a base starting point for a landscape using different terrain, different information. Now the term procedural means it's using math. So every time I choose desert, it'll give me this style of background. But as you feed it different numbers, different seed numbers, it'll do variations of that particular style. So if I got this lovely little landscape here, what a lovely landscape. But I could go to File, New, Procedural, before I choose Desert. Let's choose a different tool. You can see how I've got Detail, Size, and Seed. The seed is that starting number. And each time I click on that number, let's get my hand out of the way so you can actually see it a little better. It gives it a different starting number. So with a different number, if I choose the same desert, it's going to give me the same colors, the same style, but a different pattern in the rocks, a different pattern. You can see how this one's much more of a bowl type. So now I'll put in my water down in here type of thing. Or whatever it is you're planning on doing, the different seed gives you a slightly different pattern. So we're going to choose a different seed for a different number. And then in different style, let's try the mountain ridge. A different style for the landscape itself. So you'll notice a mountain ridge. Ridge lines, mountains, and now I can go in my forests. I can put in castles, whatever I want to do in this landscape without having to create the entire landscape myself. There's a bunch of different types. There are six different types of landscape. We looked at the rolling desert and mountains. It's got different types of mountains as well. Wiggle Peak or Smooth Peak or Multi Biome will just give you different variations, different colors. This is the Multi Biome one. Different landscapes for you to work with. Anytime you start a folder new, empty is just an empty box, procedural will draw an entire landscape. Now the final controls here, the detail and the size, the type of machine you're using will affect, be affected here. So if you're on a powerful computer, going for the large size, high detail, will give you much more mountainous terrain at the cost of much more processing power. So if you're on a Quest or a PlayStation, trying to do the high detail large size could use a lot of the resources right off the bat, even before you start adding your customizations. So a lower end system can start with a smaller low detail so you can do more work of your own before you hit that dreaded low memory warning. So starting a new sculpt in Sculptor VR, do you want an empty box or do you want a landscape? It uses these procedural numbers using your seed to determine the exact details, the exact mountains, that type of thing.
Now that I've got my mountains, now I'll put in forests and rivers and castles and really start to have fun. Because if I use my size here, I can really get down to that tiny hole could be a giant cave that the dragon lives in. But as we pull back farther and farther, smaller and smaller, that giant cave is hidden amongst the terrain. So have fun with it. Try some new terrains just to see what happens. Let us know what you come up with. We'd love to see the type of things that you guys create. We do this live on Twitch as well as archived on YouTube. So let us know the type of questions you have or the type of tools you'd like to see us work with. Let me get my subscribe message going here. And thanks for joining us on Teaching Sculptor VR. Go ahead and subscribe, like if you do, and let us know what sort of stuff you'd like to see. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Have fun in Sculptor VR.